The family of an 18 year old who survived being shot last year says they are growing frustrated, waiting for someone to be held accountable. Law enforcement says the investigation is at a standstill as they wait for someone, anyone, to speak up. ABC 13's Daniela Hurtado is live from the sheriff's office after talking to that frustrated mom. Daniela? Gina, 18 year old George Juarez says. He was set up after he was shot in the face and nearly left for dead. He says what should have been a meetup with a woman he was talking to ended up being a day he nearly lost it all. It's been frustrating and annoying. Edna Juarez says it's been nearly half a year since her 18 year old son George was shot in a neighborhood on Pine West and Hollow Pines in the Wood Forest area. On August 13th, George was driving down this stretch of road on his way to meet a woman he had been chatting with online. When he showed up outside of the home where they agreed to meet, the woman was there. So was a guy with a gun. The guy said, give me everything you have. And my son said no and stepped on the gas. When he stepped on the gas, the guy followed him, ran after the car and shot three times. She says they sped off in a white car with a getaway driver. This is George's car. After he was shot, he got out of his car as he was bleeding, begging anyone to help him. George fortunately survived, but that night altered his life forever. He can't see. He lost his right eye. When the bullet entered, it entered through here. And it pulled a muscle from the back of the global, the eye, and it ripped it. It ricocheted in his face and exited the right eye. Investigators with the Harris County Sheriff's Office say they've pulled fingerprints and found a shell casing at the scene. A detective tells me the woman who was there that night has a lawyer and is not saying anything. It's putting a wrench in the investigation as investigators continue to try and identify the man who pulled the trigger. I hope that somebody digs deep and has the intestinal fortitude to speak up because this could have been you. If you crossed him or her, it could be anybody. As for George, he's on track to graduate this year. But unfortunately, his goal to enlist in the military and continue the family legacy will no longer be possible. In Houston, Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.